Yeah, don't get caught, Flyer, man. If I could take it all back, I, I would uh, I would wear my headgear. It's, uh, I don't know, it's kind of ugly. <laughs> but it's, you know, it's part, it's part of, uh, it's, it's a trophy. But just, just know that a lot of girls won't hit on you because of this. Uh, the, the best advice I can say for cauliflower ear is uh, enjoy it. <laughs> well, I developed mine in high school, uh, high school wrestling, and uh, I actually always wore my headgear. I don't know how I got it, um, but it's like having a black belt that you wear all the time. You see a guy with an ear like that, you don't really want to mess with him. I, did, I, didn't, I didn't want to tr uh, train MMA because of the cauliflower, but I checked already the operation, plastic uh, surgeries, so I've got some uh, best <laughs> in Warsaw and uh, I know the price is pretty high but you know like on the beginning I I was worried about so I didn't want to train but then I've got into MMA and now I always put some uh, you know some uh, ear, ear gear so it's good good head position good hand control yeah I don't these things are they're pretty big, so I'm, I'm pretty sure that they'd, they'd flare up pretty easy. So yeah, I don't like anyone touching them. And yeah, I, I just make people miss on punching, you know. Um, I keep them things nice and hidden away. Yeah, my, uh, I think the first time I, I got cauliflower ear, I was 14. And at that time in Rio, it was like, it was like everybody has it, you know. Jiu-Jitsu, like roots, you know. And it was cool to have a cauliflower ear. And then I, I let it come, you know, I, did, I didn't stop training, I kept training. And um, that's why I got the, those cauliflower ears. My, see, my, I had, uh, I've gotten, I've, I didn't get that until I was 30. So for 15 plus years, I never had cauliflower, I just drained it myself. It was the first time I actually had insurance on myself. And I went to a doctor, and then that's what happened. It, so don't go to a doctor. That's a big no-no. You know what, my trick was uh, when I first started getting it, I, I got it early on in my, in my MMA career, you know, before I even really started fighting, um, you know, early, right at the beginning of my professional career. And uh, I started getting it and, you know, drained it, was really vigilant about draining it. And uh, my trick was uh, while it was healing, I slept with my wrestling ear guards on, all stuffed with, uh, with tissue paper, so I, I just kept, kept pressure on it because I, I felt like it was that uh, rubbing on your pillow at night that makes it swell back up on you. So that's how I managed to keep mine, you know, moderately uh, still in the shape of an ear. Uh, I didn't mind it too much, you know, I have a little bit on the inside of my ears. Luckily, I was more of a forehead to forehead wrestler and you get guys who go ear to ear, to ear and that's where, uh, you know, you get a lot of friction there and that's what gives you the cauliflower. And luckily, I, I was forehead to forehead, so I got more scars than cauliflower. Do what you gotta do so you can train another day, you know what I mean? If you gotta drain it, if you gotta... Don't go to the hospital, I can tell you that. That's what I did. So when I first got it, I didn't really know what to do with it, right? So I went to the hospital. I actually went to the Ohio State University Hospital, and they, uh, well, this one you may not cheer for them so much because they used me as a guinea pig, basically. So I had a student doctor, and they said, they said you've never seen this before, so look, we'll show you what this is. Uh, you know, it's a, a, a hematoma, basically, of the ear, et cetera, et cetera. And they <coughs> let her do the surgery, or whatever you want to call it, you know. So they cut my ear open. So actually, so first they had, they had a student and anesthesiologist also. So she was supposed to numb it up. Couldn't get it numb. But I didn't know the difference. So I'm like, well, I guess this is what it is, right? Tried to numb it up, no numb. So they cut it open, squeeze the blood out, stitch it back together with no anesthesia. And the whole time I'm like, I guess it's just what it is, man. And I'm dying. Worse than, you know, worst pain I ever felt in my life. And, uh, and I remember the stitches, they, they did, they give me four stitches. They go in here and then out over here, right? They go in through the half, and she couldn't get it through the rest. So she's poking and digging and trying to get it in. And she yells at our doctor, hey, I can't get it through, can you come get it? And she just walks over and pops it through. And <coughs> took about two hours. And uh, they gave me Percocets after, that's how bad it was. Honestly, I think cauliflower is cool. I think you should you should go after it, just rub them out. You know, I think um, you know. I feel like using headgear is obviously you know best way to stop cauliflower. Um, I was fortunate enough in my wrestling career, I never got it, 
but um, if you get it, it's so cool. It's kind of like uh, kind of like better than better than a uh, war wound, like bar, war ugh, scar. Yeah. <laughs> Use your forehead. Uh, that's actually the hardest part on your head. The ears actually fall apart because of uh, evolution. Uh, you're rubbing off everything and it falls apart. Look at these pretty things. Don't get hit. Don't get hit. That's good advice. That's good advice. In and you know, if you have cauliflower ear, you wanna you wanna get it treated, of course. Um, you can kind of feel it coming when your ear feels funny. Then wear the resting protection. Um, yeah, and then it can go away before it, you actually get a cauliflower ear. But once you get it, you're screwed.